When employers are looking to fill job positions, they usually have an idea about what kind of person they want that employee to be. An ex-criminal offender is usually not one of them. But a Columbus businessman is changing that and giving second chances where you usually don't find them. Alexandria Chapin is in with more. When an employer looks at an application, they usually want to make sure the box asking about criminal history is unchecked because they're looking for employees who haven't been convicted of a crime. But I talked to an employer who wants that box to be checked because about 90% of his employees are ex-offenders of some kind. Dan Hardiman owns five that Tim Hortons guy. franchises in Columbus, and most of his employees have a criminal history. But it wasn't always that way. Three years ago, Dan realized two of his employees were ex-offenders after he had already employed them for six months and was preparing to promote them. I didn't even know you had the charge, and here you are ready to be promoted when I find this out. So what do I do? Do I act like every other employer and say, oh, she's backing out of this? Or do I recognize you for what you actually did? And from then on, Dan hired ex-offenders, ranging from small criminals all the way to murderers and sexual offenders. Those higher offenders work during the overnight hours or work installing floors at the franchise locations. The Mental Health and Recovery Services Board of Allen County says this is a second chance for these offenders, and it can be good for a community. The organization invited Dan to come to Lima to speak. Well, this is a good opportunity for businesses to um, discover uh, maybe a workforce they hadn't thought of before was, was viable. And from our standpoint, from the Mental Health and Addiction Services, as people get jobs, they're uh, happier, they're more stable, and they don't relapse. Dan reduced his turnover rate from 125% to less than 40% since he started hiring the ex-offenders. He credits this to a loyal and motivated workforce. They understand how hard of a workforce it is out there. They know that there's a strike against them already, that, other, that not every employer is going to give them an opportunity. So when they do get an opportunity, they bust their butt to make it work. He's visited the White House to speak with the House Criminal Justice Committee about his controversial decision to hire ex-offenders. He encourages any employers to just give it a chance, even one employee on a six-month trial basis, and go from there. From the studio, Alexandria Chapin, your news now.